everyone this is the angel hug for wednesday the first of may and um, today i'm going to start with ask your guides so we're looking at um we're looking at overcoming resistance this week and we're looking at um, flying into freedom rather as my guides like to describe it um not resisting anything not resisting resistance even and um, I'm going to start with ask your guides because it just seems, you know, I mean, it's the thing I always do when it comes to everything. And I'm just really, really, although I haven't explored them fully, I'm just really, really intrigued by these cards and really, really drawn to them increasingly. Um, they're Sonia Choquette's Ask Your Guides cards. Right. That feels like the place to stop. So how can we overcome resistance today? Wednesday, the 1st of May. Risk the joy guides. <laughs> just the universe is just full on saying take a risk go for it move beyond the fear um move beyond resistance be free go beyond so today i mean that message is just so clear i love this card as well it's a trapeze and actually that for me is very significant because i remember one of my past lives as a circus performer at uh, being not being caught as i did um the trapeze act and uh i'm really feeling that quite powerfully as i look at this card um so and i want to say that to everyone okay look today into go inside into your inner knowing and ask yourself is there a life beyond this one that i don't consciously remember that might be impacting me in my inability to feel safe taking a risk OK, and even as I say that to feel safe taking a risk, sometimes we have to give up our addiction to safety. And I know that sounds insane, but, you know, if you're sitting there right now living a life in which you feel really, really safe every single day, I have to say on some level, you're not really living because life, or rather living, does involve taking risks. It involves changing things, creating change, making waves. And I'm really intrigued as well, as someone who's fascinated by words, by the distinction that I just drew there between life and living. Life as a noun. Life really shouldn't be a noun. You know, we should be talking about living, the experience of living life is a verb to live is a verb to love these are verbs these are things that we do but we freeze them in time and consciousness by calling them a thing so if life is a thing we have no responsibility to be creating it in a dynamic way we have no responsibility to be experiencing it and allowing it to move us and shape us and understanding our ability our creative powerful ability to shape and create it in every moment. When we call it life, it's like calling an apple an apple. The apple simply is an apple. We can either eat it or not eat it. Life is not like that. We must experience it. We must jump into the pool and we must shape it and create it and dance with it and tell it this is how it's going to be. So today, that's the card. <laughs> I did a very deep meditation before I recorded these and that's, you know, uh, what happens. Um, but this card is so beautiful. I'm going to leave you looking at the card. Risk. Today is about taking a risk. Enjoy.